Very commonly known, the liver holds uh, the emotional signature of anger, you know, or the kidneys hold the emotional signature of fear. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's actually what later then leads down to physical issues. Is energy healing, energy medicine, primary root for healing diseases? Primary and root. Yes. Those are the best ways to describe it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this has really kind of been hidden from us for a long time. This, there's been science on this since the 40s, very, very meticulously done science from Yale. And uh, really showing that how we are electromagnetic in nature, that we have a field that is primary, that will be able to show us fluctuations um, in our health before our biology shows us fluctuations mm. in our health. And so, you know, we should be talking about this. I mean, we should be talking about preventative medicine and our energetic field. And we should be talking about proactive medicine and our energetic field. We can truly manipulate our biology if we understand how this field works and what are the practices and the tools and techniques to change the energy and information of the field so we coherently signal our biology. And that's what really produces health. Mm. Now, someone would say this is all mysticism, this is new age, but you're telling me there's been studies from the 40s, all the way back to the 40s, from an Ivy League institution telling me that there is an energetic body that can proceed, uh, any alterations and disruption can proceed biological manifestations? Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, Dr. Yeah. Harold Burr, um, from Yale in the 40s did this work and um, you know it, it was followed up repeatedly uh, in the 60s and 70s when really this energetic renaissance was happening um, at very reputable institutions and you know the it's so reproducible and it's so consistent that we have this other form and there's an anatomy to it and there's a physiology and a biology to this form that we just haven't fully started to work on yet and when we do, and when we, we start to understand that maybe there are practices available to do this, we see rapid biological transformations. And mm -hmm. you know, it's been really the, the greatest gift of our own practice to start to disseminate this information and help people and see those transformations occur you know, very consistently when this work happens. Mm. I think especially for people who are just so into the wellness world and really focusing on their diet, what to eat, what toxins to avoid, what supplements to take, how to exercise, how to sleep, and they're still not seeing the results. And if we start understanding that, that is so much more downstream than if we work on our upstream, you know, electromagnetic beings, that's really where the answer lays. And so now we're able to use the biofield in a way to really target energetic practices that people are starting to incorporate, like yoga, meditation, acupuncture, tai chi, reiki. But now we can do it in such a targeted way to really start moving the energy so that we really see the physical improvement in the health. Yeah, one thing that stuck out in the conversation between us is you, you both said precedes all of the things that you just said which is in many ways backwards to what we're doing in the whole medical model is we're immediately going from the physical manifestation, the biological manifestation, and not looking upstream. Yep. So how, first of all, why isn't this taught in schools? And I went to a naturopathic school, which is more alternative, more open into these, and still, like, we didn't have much work around this. Why is this being completely missed by the medical model, of, of which, it, to me, and from what I'm hearing, is integral to healing? Yeah, I think it's just the foundations of the scientific revolution and really trying to separate um, from this um, maybe more energetic or spiritual realm mm -hmm. of healing, um, really back when the scientific revolution started to, to separate from these things that aren't measurable and tangible. And you know that permeated into all of our institutions. It really did this material view of society, mm -hmm. and whether it's healthcare, whether it's the economic system or our public schooling system, it's permeated all the way through. And what we're seeing is the results of that. There's there's a lot of problems, and mm -hmm. um, it's time to go back to the foundations and start to find a model that works um, with the truths of this system, which isn't all bad, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. and you know, the truths of the other system that was very, you know, abundant, especially in Eastern traditions mm -hmm. um, of knowing that healing occurs on this, on this energetic level, there's mm -hmm. an electromagnetic level. 
And um, now we can start to incorporate it and start to teach it both through a scientific lens and maybe a more ethereal or spiritual lens also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's just iterations of the same yeah. language. Mm -hmm. It's just who are you appealing to and how are you saying it? Yeah, totally. exactly. Uh, for me, you could say it both ways. I'm, I'm eating <laughs> yeah. both of you know? We love it too. <laughs> uh, and and so, so part of your, both, both of your guys' work is in seeing patients and you're able to measure this. Right. Yeah. And and can you tell me a little bit about this work and what it means and and what you see and and how and we'll go into like my whole session with <laughs> you, too, which blew my mind. But but just generally speaking, how is this measured and what is what is this device and what does it do? Like, yeah, th there's uh, there's a few different devices um, in our research that we've come across, and you know there's there's ways of visualizing this field um, through different sort of lenses. Um, Krillian photography has kind of been a little bit more popular. Some people know about it where it's, you know, there's gas that gets uh, disseminated off the body and you can see the different patterns of that and, um, you know, visualize the field that way. The technology that we're using is something called the Biofield Viewer, uh, which actually is uh, really nice because it can be done remotely, which, yeah. you know, we love doing. And um, uh, it's really the, the different f uh, wavelengths of light that uh, come off the body and how they have... Uh, actual um, emotional electromagnetic meaning. And you can decipher that when you see somebody's photograph and render it through this technology. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, beyond that, and I think what we did with you a lot was actually show you how it's signaling your biology, how this field was really signaling different parts of your biology. You didn't have to tell us much. Which blew me away. Yeah. <laughs> That's what really blew me away yeah. because through wavelength and how it appears on this device or this technology, you both were able to see the parts of my body that were stuck or what I was feeling or what I was uh, dealing with. And I did not answer that anywhere. And I was like, <laughs> how do they know this? What's going on? What is this witchcraft here? But it's not witchcraft. It's actually like true medicine, yeah. Yeah. which blew me away. But, but um, so, so then you'll be able to read that with someone. Uh, and, and how does it show when there is a disruption in the energetic field? Um, how does it present on these photos? Because for me, we saw it where I had my tattoos. But is that for everyone? How, how do we know? Yeah, so it's, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of the foundations of what it actually is. So you have to go back to thinking about what is this field? And it is essentially um, two things. How we think is electric. How we emote or our emotions are magnetic. And when we cast those out, uh, we broadcast uh, an electromagnetic field. And what it actually is is a wave and a frequency or a vibration. A wave is light and a frequency or vibration is sound. So we are broadcasting light and sound just like a TV station. You know, we are broadcasting this out looking for receivers of our light and our sound. When we find these receivers, we, um, they could be people, they could be places, they could be events. We have experiences. And we know, even conventional science knows that, you know, the field of epigenetics, it's, it's our experiences from our environment that signals the genes. Now, if you um, are, are signaling the genes in, in a coherent way of a, with your, you know, your, your emotions being coherent and having coherent ex experiences, you signal genes for wellness. So coherent signals would be like love, joy... Uh, freedom, opportunity, like high frequency emotions. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. And then the opposite is really our genes for stress. And when we see our genes for stress in particular, um, there's a very specific pattern where um, the biology shows that there is stress on the organ system that is corresponding to that experience or the wavelength of that experience. Mm. So, you know, very specific organ systems will light up in very specific ways to show us what experiences this person is repeatedly having. Mm. So incoherent signals would be like anger, fear, jealousy, yeah. hatred. And yeah. then those incoherent signals start becoming uh, stagnant in the areas of the body where mm. it kind of, you know, vibrates with. So very commonly known, the liver holds uh, the emotional signature of anger, you know, or the kidneys hold the emotional signature of fear. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's actually what later then leads down to physical issues. 
you know, mm. liver disease, kidney disease, mm -hmm. um, people with heart issues, a lot of times it's emotional signature of grief or sadness that they're holding on to. And then they develop heart disease later on, you know? So it's really like, how do we catch this before it really manifests into physical reality? Mm. All right, check it out. I'm using Athletic Greens every single day. You've seen it on my stories. I take into videos. And it's amazing stuff, right? I started it because I wanted something that I can use every single day because when I'm on the go, I'm not able to just make a whole salad or I'm not able to cook up some vegetables, right? So the thing about Athletic Greens is that it tastes good. Most of these green powders out there, and I know you've tried them all, and if you haven't, try it, and you'll see a lot of them have this earthy taste, but this is actually mild and has actually a tropical taste because of the pineapple and vanilla in it. So what is it? With one scoop of Athletic Greens, you get 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced superfoods, probiotics, adaptogens, and it's gonna help you start your day overall in a good place. You wanna start your day right. Contains less than a gram of sugar, amen. No GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything, and it tastes good, as I mentioned. It helps you support your better sleep quality, right? Because you're getting all of your nutrients and cofactors that you need to get through your day, and as well as putting you in a good place to go to sleep and so you can recover overall, and then start the day again with mental clarity and alertness. Now, AG1, as I mentioned to everyone, is a small micro habit. You do it a little bit at a time every single day and it builds up and you start feeling better, right? It's because a lot of us are so deficient in a lot of these vitamins and minerals that are really doing so much good for us. And partly because our diet is devoid of those nutrients and partly because a lot of us don't put the urgency into getting all of those colors of the rainbow in our diet. So that's why Athletic Greens is so amazing. And you know, I only partner with brands that I truly, truly believe in. And they're an incredible company. And they're focused on what I've been talking about lately, sustainability. For one, they're a climate neutral certified company. In 2020, they purchased carbon credits that supports projects protecting old growth rainforests. Additionally, for every purchase that they get, they're gonna to donate to organizations that help get more nutritious foods to kids in need, including No Kid Hungry here in the United States. And in 2020, Athletic Greens donated over 1.2 million meals to children. So the way that I do it, I take a scoop, put some cold water, mix it up, and drink it. If I wanna get fancy, I put it into my smoothie. But either way, I'm getting Athletic Greens in my body every single day. Now to make it easy, Athletic Greens is gonna give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you gotta do is go to athleticgreens.com slash heal thyself. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash heal thyself to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Okay, so in the spirit of Mental Health Awareness Month, I wanna tell you all about one of my favorite products for relieving stress and anxiety. I got the Ned De-Stress Blend in my bag right now. I take it right before the show, calms my nerves, relax me, so I can be present with you all, right? But the Ned De-Stress Blend is amazing. It's USDA certified organic formula that puts spotlight on two powerful cannabinoids, right? Two, now you gotta pay attention to this because not all CBD out there is created equal. First is CBG. This is known as the mother of all cannabinoids because of how effective it is at combating anxiety and stress by inhibiting the reuptake of GABA. Now we need GABA. It's the neurotransmitter that's responsible for overall stress regulation and keeping us feeling good and calm, right? The second is a tried and true one that you heard about. I know you all have CBD. It's extracted from the world's purest full spectrum hemp all the way in the foothills of the Colorado Rockies. That sounds beautiful as it is, right? But they stand by their processing. They stand by their sourcing. You go on the website and check it out yourself. You see it with your own eyes. The blend also features a botanical infusion of ashwagandha. You may have heard of this. Now, it's an amazing Ayurvedic herb, one of my favorite ones out there. But what it's going to do is help enhance your body's resiliency to stress. And that delicious taste of this tincture is coming from cardamom and cinnamon. Now, cinnamon, powerful prebiotic. It helps support your gut health. Right? It's a key player in overall mental health. We just did a show on gut health and mental health together and how they affect each other. 
Cardamom combats stress overall. It helps reduce your blood pressure and lower cortisol. And this product is chock full of premium CBD and a full spectrum of those active cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids, and trichomes. Ned's full spectrum hemp nourishes the body's endocannabinoid system, that inherent system in our body that responds to these constituents for better overall stress, sleep, inflammation, and balance. They share all of the third-party testing, who farms their products, what their extraction is all about. You go straight to their website, you're gonna see it all. So now's the time, especially this month, to invest in yourself, fortify your stress response, and this month you're gonna get 15% off of Ned's de-stress blend with the code DRG. You go to helloned.com slash DRG, or you enter the code DRG at checkout. That's H-E-L-L-O-N-E-D.com slash DRG, and you get 15% off. Thank you, Ned, as always, for sponsoring the show and offering my wonderful community this natural remedy for some of life's most common health issues. Sorry, you know, I just want to say we're, we're, we're not opposed to understanding that you know, toxins and pathogens and all these things play a role. For sure. Oh, huge. It's just that this lays yeah. the foundation to become susceptible. Oh, 100%. So yes. it, it, that, that's the same exact way that I, I think about it. Yeah. We're yeah. talking foundational. Yeah. yeah. We're on the ground level right now. Yeah. All the other stuff is sprinkled on that keeps yep. pushing yep. that pathological process. Um, so to understand correctly, uh, each emotion has a uh, wavelength right? And, and sound, basically, light mm -hmm. and sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, we attract receivers uh, of like frequencies. And those emotions have an affinity towards specific organs. Yeah. Because they are vibrational matches. Exactly. Interesting. Okay. So that's why we hear, even in Chinese medicine, they say this, this is where this emotion is. Yeah. Yes. It's the same idea. It's like all of these different yeah. ancient cultures of medicine are saying the same thing. Exactly. You know, and, and it's just unbelievable to, to hear that. Yeah. yeah. It really is. So that even behooves us to be so much more aware of our feelings. And we go, whoa, whoa, today, how am I feeling? I can feel the emotion of grief, but I can also transduce that into a frequency that is, like you said, yeah, higher exactly. conducive energies. Yep. Are, yeah, right? exactly. Um, this is crazy stuff, yeah, right? It like, is. But but imagine how it's it sounds so simple too, simple yet crazy, right? Yeah, it is. It okay, is. so here I am. I do my biofield analysis, which again was very easy. We we went into a room. There's specifics on the lighting. Take the pictures. Took five minutes. Next thing I know, I'm in front of you both, and there is this beautiful. Photo. It looks like an aura. Is it? Is it like an aura pic, or is it different? Yeah. It's yeah. like classically speaking, an mm -hmm. aura. But, mm -hmm. but it shows all these different colors coming from my body. Darker colors around my tattoos. <laughs> uh, but uh, what is it that you saw in this picture? Maybe we can give a summary so we can explain, and I can talk about some of the things that I deal with that you saw. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, white light. what we <laughs> 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 we should probably talk about your white light because I mean that that was a big deal. Uh, we don't see that a lot. It's mm -hmm. it's when people um, fully assimilate a lot of perspective in their life and uh, are able to live in a way of purpose and service. And so we thank you for your work thank and you. what you are doing um, because you you are like you said and we said to you you're on the right path. Yeah. And it's very clear your energy is working for you. Um, so keep going. But this was visualized. It was visualized. In the photo, as light around, which is, which is showing that that translates into purpose, pur purposefulness, um, service. assimilation, service. Actually, to me, service being the highest form of love. Yeah. So that's what, you've, that's what you saw in the picture, which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. So then, so, which gave me the confidence, because I, I can't see these things, but then I see that and I go, Oh yes, I'm in the right place. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yes, the 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 work that I've been doing is literally manifesting in 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 a form that we can see tangibly in pictures. Mm -hmm. um, that's the that was the first thing that blew me away. The power of a photo. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go on. <laughs> well, I think I think what we love about the showing the field to a lot of people is because we love to show the potential that everyone carries, and when we see people as this like energetic being regardless of what they're wearing or how their hair is that day, it's like, that's who they are. And oftentimes that's what people need to see for themselves too. So like one of the most beautiful colors we see in the field is green. Mm -hmm. And that the green emanates from the heart center and it's like a healer. 
you know, someone who just like emanates so much love and you, you see that they have all this green around them, but then you look in their body and there might be energy trapped or there's something going on physically. And we just show them like, look at this beautiful healing potential that you have. And it's like time to bring it inward. Yeah, You know, it's like oftentimes we just give, 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 but we forget to give to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's such a beautiful reminder for people to like just heal themselves as well. Mm -hmm. And we see that, like it, it's, it's so inspiring when you can see, wow, I am a giver and I'm so poor at receiving. Yeah. It's time to nurture myself and it's potential, right? And that's a beautiful thing. You can be insecure about your height, about your weight, about your hair. And then all of a sudden, like the picture shows your human form, but it's like, it takes a backseat to like just radiance everywhere. You're like, whoa, is that, is that, this is really you. Yeah, yeah. This exactly. This is what people feel, not see, this is what people feel when you walk in the room. Yeah. How, how can that not give you confidence? Yeah. yeah. You know, so already from the get-go, where I'm having, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm a lot more confident than I was before this call. <laughs> uh, but, but from the biological disease state, where, how do you see these things in, in a photo? Yeah, so it's, it's really that, you know, fundamentally, we, when we are signaling our genes for stress, we're leaking light. And you can see this in, in different um, organisms, actually. If you cut a stem of a plant and you use this photography with it, it's leaking light. It's, it's, it's losing vital force, vital energy. And uh, it's very similar what we see on the biofield when our biology is being affected in incoherent ways. And one of the things that we saw with you was with your tattoos mm -hmm. and how these tattoos were actually infiltrating the sort of the energetic channels or the electromagnetic channels traditionally known as meridians or, or nadis in the Indian tradition. And, uh, you know, it was really the ink that is disrupting these, these very um, significant pathways that are leading to your internal organs and signaling your biology in very important ways. You do not want any interference in those pathways. So, you know, um, just discovering something like that can be so transformative for a person because, you know, it was a, maybe a decision you made at a time in your life when you needed that. And we fully support mm -hmm. that. But let's do the things that are going to now allow you to enjoy the aesthetic of that tattoo, but really help your biology and um, assimilate all the right type of signals that your biology needs in order to create wellness. Mm -hmm. And it's totally doable when you visualize it this way. The way that I, I described it uh, to some people after is like there's a river running and then there's just a big boulder that's put there and the water just goes around it. And that's what it seemed like. There was just like all this bright radiant light and then just like a, a dark incoherent clump of yeah. energy right in my back tattoo that I have on my back. And then you showed me the front and the, the ones on my chest and on my arms and I was like, oh shit, man. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, I really messed up, huh? But, but, but no, it was a part of me that was really, uh, but, what is it about tattoos? Is it, is it that they, they leak into these energetic channels? And what are the energetic channels? Where are they in the body? Yeah, so the, it's actually not just the tattoos. Surgical scars are even worse. So when we cut into the fascia or tattoo um, ink leaks into the fascia, that's actually where the circuitry runs for the electromagnetic magnetic energy. So you can think about like wires running through the fascia. And if something kind of disrupts it, the wire gets frayed, so the circuit isn't as strong. Mm -hmm. And these circuits connect to all different organ systems. So, you know, for instance, many women get C-sections, you know, and the, when you cut that area, that actually disrupts the circuitry to the thyroid and the gut. So oftentimes we see women dealing with a lot of thyroid issues and gut issues after their C-section down the line. So... You know, Singular. our body, surprise, it's all connected. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had shared with you both this experience that I had um, on, a plant, on plant medicine, and uh, I was having a full conversation with my body. That was the first time I ever knew that my body was fully conscious being, not only conscious, wanting to have a real relationship with me where I was completely in the knowing of what my body wants at all given times. Mm -hmm. In body, embodied, right? And... I was like, when did my, because my, I, I've been dealing with IBS since 2007. And I, I go, what happened in 2007? I was like, when did that start? And all of a sudden I feel my body like spasming right in my back of my shoulder, right wow. here. And, it, and it, it felt like someone was tapping my bone. And I go, what is it? Is it my, my scapula? I was like, did I injure my scapula when I played football? I was like, what is happening? And then once I said, is it my tattoo? I had a hot flash all mm. over from head to toe. And it was my body going, yeah, it was when you had a tattoo. 
And, it, and then I thought about it after, and I was like, I got that tattoo three months before I got my gut issues, right? Because I got them April 2007, right? Earlier the part of the year, I remember getting it. I had to trace it back. Like, I had to, like, look back on, like, old emails, <laughs> and I found it. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, that meridian must have been disrupted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or some energetic channel must have been disrupted where my stomach is not strong enough anymore, or was as strong as it used to be. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Just So crazy. Just, Just a tattoo. And I, I, and I got it because I was like, oh, you know, it, it, I read on the internet. It doesn't really get into the epidermis, and it'll be fine. But I didn't even consider energetic channels. Yeah. Well, there's ways to fix it. Yeah, that's that's a great part. Just, that was my next question. Yes. Yeah. And we Is actually it salvageable? This stuff. Yeah. It's totally salvageable. I mean, there's different ways of doing it. Um, you know, we, we're going to help you today, I think. Yeah, and, we're going to get on video. Yeah. <laughs> um, but using light and... Um, oftentimes using sound also. Um, but really what it, it takes is, if you really think about it as a circuit, it needs voltage. It needs um, real charge to repair this circuit. And the ways to do that are light, um, but you can also use things like uh, procaine, which neural therapy is now famous for. Uh, procaine actually gives us a tremendous amount of charge when it's um, when it's uh, metabolized in our body. Mm. And so there are, there are definitely ways of opening up these circuits and like women with C-sections, for example, is a great uh, example when you change the dynamic of this circuit, you mm -hmm. repair it, the thyroid gets better, their digestion gets better, and you know, we're hoping the same for you. you oh yeah. You know, the same deal. I yeah. love that. So we, 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 we sort of touched on it, the fascia, when we were talking about cutting into it and the tattoos, it's a mystery in many ways, especially in school. We, we touch on fascia maybe for a week and no more than that. First of all, for people who've never l even heard of it or viewers and listeners that are really intrigued, what is fascia? Uh, and, and what is the significance when we're talking about this energetic field of medicine? So the fascia is uh, the connective tissue of every single organ, nerve, and muscle in our body. Everything is covered with fascia. It's like a net. And the fact that we don't learn about it is remarkable too um, <laughs> mm -hmm. because it is truly it's an organ system in and of itself and really what it is it's a conductive system and uh, we know now that these electromagnetic circuits run through the fascia and you know the speed at which these signals are transduced is faster actually than the speed of light and this is real research that i believe came out of ucla if i'm not mistaken where um, they stimulated a point of, on the fascia and then they checked the brain to see how quickly that happens, where, where the, the stimulus is received. And then they shine a light into the eye and look at the brain and see how quickly that is received. It's faster when you touch the fascia than shining light directly into the eye. Wow. And the fascia was touched on the toe, I should, I should mention mm -hmm. that. So you, got, you can imagine that distance mm -hmm. compared to the eye and the brain connection. So this is an incredibly elaborate, uh, faster than a speed of light type of a connective circuit that we have in our body that is truly primary in terms of how we signal our genome and our biology. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is uh, I mean, it should be on the top of any new healers list to learn about this incredible circuit and how to um, manipulate it and, and make it work for our body mm. even better when it needs to. Mm. Have you both identified anything else that disrupts the fascia other than mechanical or tattoos? Is there anything else? Is there, is there maybe injuries? Is there, are, are, do infections get into the fascia? Have you, have you found well, anything? Well, we can talk about root canals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, th all those things above, and um, really, actually, what we should what we should mention is the magnetic force of an emotion can affect mm -hmm. the circuitry of the fascia. Mm. It can it can change the flow um, of the of the energy transmitted through this. Just because an emotion has such a magnetic pull that uh, when you when you have this in your body. Um, you are you are actually changing how light is being transmitted through your body, and it's it's exerting a force on these fascial circuits. And it's so. all about if the emotion is coherent or incoherent. Mm. So coherent is like very easy to flow. Incoherent, you can imagine. Like LA traffic at five. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Very incoherent. <laughs> Four Sigmatic makes coffee crash-free by adding in functional mushrooms from places like this. Uh, 
Four Sigmatic, deliciously balanced for body and mind. All right, if you listened to my coffee show, you heard that Four Sigmatic was one of the top ones out there. Four Sigmatic helps people achieve overall elevated wellness. It utilizes some of the most nutrient-dense ingredients around. They have plant-based organic and clean formulas that promote physical, mental, and emotional well-being to protect your body against all of those damn stressors that hit us every single day in modern life. Now, Four Sigmatic, it's been around for over 10 years, and they began with the pioneering mushroom coffee that I just mentioned. Their product portfolio is diversified, but it always remains with the same vision. Four Sigmatic believes that the earth has provided us with the most nutrient-dense, powerful foods, as I do as well. And the goal is to make it easy and delicious for us to utilize these wild foods in the most sustainable, clean, and authentic way into our world where we arguably need it the most. I mean, think about it. We are on the go, 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 always stress the things we value maybe topsy-turvy, but still, we take no time for ourselves to ground ourselves and to be at peace. So to connect back to nature, and they're creating things like coffee, which are delicious and an easy way to elevate overall wellness, right? Because their coffee, 100% USDA organic, fair trade certified, third-party tested for mycotoxins, mold, heavy metals, pesticides, and more, and they passed my test. And they have the most beneficial ingredients like lion's mane mushroom, wild harvested chaga extract, and it's gonna help support a crash-free focus. Support your immunity, gut health, stress response, and more, all by a morning brew that many of us are drinking anyway. So why not up-level it to a better quality, overall substantial one that can really be helping our health. And aside from the coffee, Four Sigmatic also has an amazing, perfect plant-based protein. They got five plant-based proteins in it, seven functional mushrooms and adaptogens, zero fillers. They ain't got no grains or gums to weigh you down or upset your stomach, no artificial flavors. It's an amazing protein. All right, so check it out. It's Four Sigmatic's birthday. And in honor of their birthday, they're offering 50% off membership subscriptions. Their membership program is no fee to join, no strings attached, and you have the ability to cancel any time. But it's got a ton of perks. Subscriptions are a standard 20% off of all the products plus free shipping. We love free shipping. And you have connection to an exclusive community with early access to all new product launches. And later this year, they're gonna be releasing their first subscription-only product. So now's the perfect time to join half off for some of the best products out there. You can use the code DRG for 20% off of all orders on foursigmatic.com, F-O-U-R. Again, that's DRG for 20% off of all the orders on foursigmatic.com. All right, you heard me talk about New Zest, one of my favorite plant-based proteins out there. They're constantly my recommendation of top plant-based protein powders out there. Go check out my Heal Thyself shows on it. Other protein powders are not fully tested or transparent. New Zest tests for gluten, dairy, soy, heavy metals, and all the other ingredients I'm telling you to stay away from. The company shares their independent testing results, very transparent, amazing results, all across the board on every single SKU they have. They provide documents for all their products and their whole line. It's important to know what's going on in your body, especially if you're using the product every single day or giving it to your children. Protein powders are great because they provide building blocks for your overall vitality and support your muscle health. So what I do is I make a new zest, I just made it this morning, I make a new zest protein powder drink before my workout add a little creatine in it so I get my muscles going, do my workout, eat breakfast, and then before I head out the door, I have one more shake. So I have two New Zest shakes a day, and I feel a lot better athletically, mentally, and just overall vitality. So New Zest is easy on the stomach, and I can attest to this, I have a very sensitive stomach, highly digestible, and it has none of the common allergens that are in there when we take protein powders where many of us feel like we're bloated or burping or heartburn or whatever it is. So when I review protein powders, New Zest consistently is making the top three. Their peas are grown in northern France and processed in Belgium, and they use a patented water-based technology, making New Zest one of the highest grade plant proteins out there, period. So all of you, Heal Thyself community, Heal Thyself listeners, you're gonna get 20% off of New Zest, 20 by going to newzest.us slash heal thyself. Once again, that's N-U-Z-E-S-T dot U-S slash heal thyself. Or you can go on the website and just use the code heal thyself, one word, for 20% off. So that when you say magnitude of emotion, was that what you, what you it like, if, if it's an incoherent, strong emotion, is that something that really disrupts the fascia, you're saying? Yeah, it's a greater magnetic pull. 
and, and so you're just going to change the way that this uh, signaling system is, is transmitting information. Mm. Um, infections for sure, especially root canals, uh, that is a big, big deal and people need to know about that. I mean, there's books been written on it, but it's kind of hidden still. Um, that root canals is a dead area of your body uh, that's still in your body, which no other medical you know, specialty does. Yeah. We know that dead tissue doesn't work, but what is still connected when you pull out the artery and the nerve is that fascial plane that is around that tooth area. Mm. And uh, if bacteria are now thriving in this dead tooth, they are signaling and sending toxins through this fascia and you know, it is really disrupting your circuitry. Mm -hmm. Which so. is why a lot of people with uh, root canals or dental issues have in other parts of the body exactly. issues. Totally. Right? Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it would be transmitted through the fascia. As we know, you know, uh, certain biotoxins or bacteria can move through the blood system. Yeah. Now we know yeah. also fascia is another route. Yeah. So we see it a ton. Yeah, we see it a ton <laughs> in the biofield. Yeah, we, we see a root canal and then, you know, if that root canal, for example, is connected to the kidney, the kidney is just bright. Whoa. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we tell people get rid of that root canal first and foremost and uh, then we'll see. As one of the first steps. One of the first steps. Wow. It's so fundamental. It, it's, it's incredible. I wonder, I would challenge all the viewers and listeners, if you had a root canal, draw a little timeline. If, if you can identify when your other issues, quote unquote, started right around there, see, because you might find that they're, they're connected without seemingly being connected. You know, so many yeah, of us think exactly. the mouth is separate from the body. Yeah. Exactly. I did, dental, I did two years of dental school. I have such an appreciation for oral health <laughs> for this reason. I was like, wait, wait, wait. I'm like, that can affect the heart? Yeah. Bacteria here? And yeah. I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And I still have such a passion for it. So oral health, and is it is it just root canals or can it be just infections or poor, poor oral health overall, gingivitis, same thing? Very similar, very, very similar. similar. Um, root canals are definitely the most insidious by far. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I mean, even fillings that are, say, BPA-laden, mm -hmm. right? A lot of fillings have BPA in them. Yeah. And, um, you know, that, that is signaling your circuitry in a very poor way. Getting these things looked at is uh, one of the most fundamental things you can do for your health. And like we said, we, we advocate for it first mm -hmm. because it just gets overlooked so often. Mm. So, viewers and listeners right now, what about, they're, they're thinking, okay, I hear all the stuff that affects my fascia for the worst. What can I do? What are some things that really help the health of my fascia? When, I mean, even if you type in fascia health, you're probably not going to find much <laughs> on it. Google isn't even going to give you much. I haven't tried that. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, I can imagine it already. I just have that feeling. <laughs> Is there anything that you've identified that really th gives and nurtures and thrives the, the fascia? What, what, can, what can we do for that? Essential oils. Yeah. Essential oils are very powerful. Really? Every uh, mm. essential oil kind of has its own frequency and it can actually help uh, certain organ systems where there might be trapped energy. So you can literally use essential oils to like release energy as well. Mm. Um, and then scalar energy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Using sound and light therapies. Um, really, I mean, thinking about it, these a lot of these therapies have been around for millennia. And, you know, yoga is a fascial therapy. I like this term now. Um, <laughs> it, it, it really is. You know, we, we are moving uh, very specific areas of our body for a reason. There's a very specific reason. It's just mm -hmm. something that we're just, we just haven't been taught. But there's a geometry to this and a beautiful symmetry to how we are signaling our light system, mm -hmm. our electromagnetic body, and that is your fascia that transduces all of that. So very mm. important to get into these. I practices. wonder if we had a visualization, like a video biofield visualization of an emotional release session. And if, if when it's released, it's just light exploding out, just going through the body when it's lit, like stuck in the fascia. Have you seen it? No. Oh, just that's wondering. exactly what it looks like. Oh, uh, theoretically yeah. speaking, yeah, that's yeah. probably what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. It's unbelievable, actually, when you see, um, actually, it was a Reiki practitioner that I personally saw that was working with a live um, biofield being casted. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, seeing a projection of a live biofield um, while somebody is doing energetic work with Reiki, and it looks exactly like that, where wow. the field is just sort of dull for a bit, and you see this person just kind of moving things, moving things, and then there's this yawn this person had, and everything just lit up. 
Whoa. It's just like a, there's an explosion. You can see there's an just upgrade moving. in their in their physiology, their biochemistry. Everything just upgrades in that moment. It's incredible because yeah. it might just be that that person hasn't yet suffered the biological effects yet. Mm -hmm. But down the line, it was almost guaranteed, especially mm -hmm. in that state. Yeah. But isn't it crazy that subtle shift in her energy could save her and prevent her from chronic disease exactly. 15 years from then? Yep. Isn't that wild that literally a, a Reiki, <laughs> a Reiki session can completely save in many ways her life? Yeah. Incredible. And it's beautiful because there's so many different healing modalities. So everyone doesn't have to do Reiki. Right. You can do acupuncture. You know, you can do yoga, meditation, breath work, uh, plant medicine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we really like sound tuning. Sound now. tuning is really beautiful too. Mm -hmm. Like we've had sessions where we've done sound tuning on clients and out of nowhere, they'll tell us a story about being assaulted when they were younger. Wow. They're like, I don't know how this just came to me. And like, they're just like literally releasing it, you know, as you're working on them. Two things that I've noticed that have been outwardly more in intuitively for me uh, powerful, I, I, I just felt it, was essential oils. I would smell them and I'm like, whoa, like these, these are, there's something here. And I always wanted to get into them more, but I never did because I just, there was so many out there, I got yeah. overwhelmed. You know, so I only have a handful in my house, but I just knew they helped so much. I, when I worked in the cancer hospital, we worked with peppermint a lot, mm. and it would help these patients. Like, I'm like, I don't understand how this is helping their nausea better than some of the drugs that they're taking. Yeah. And they're just sniffing on it throughout the day. Yeah. And they're like, I, I'm not throwing up anymore. My nausea is better. I was like, but you're sniffing something. How is that possible? And frequency, so I have a yep. tuning fork. Yeah, and we, you know, we have them in our medical kits to like test for broken bones and right. tumors. And uh, I was like, well, well, maybe I should just hit, hit, hit it and listen to it. I was like, whoa, this is really strong. So then I would put it around my body, and I'd, can, can you believe this? One time I put it on my stomach, and I felt like this emotion moving, and I was like, oh my god, I feel like crying. I was like, what is wow. this doing? Yeah. But it, it now it stands to believe that's just it's tuning it's cre it's creating a coherence with the yeah. energy energetic yeah. pieces in my body that are that were stuck. Um, two things that are like cheap. Yes. Right. People can get a tuning fork. They can get essential oils. Uh, but well, I, to me again, why isn't it like at the top of like, hi, welcome to your doctor's visit. <laughs> lay, lay down. We're gonna do first a few things, and then we're gonna test your blood work after. You know, yeah. like this is this is where I, I hope to see medicine moving. Absolutely. Oh, sure. It's the future. It really is. The, the future of healing is in the, the level of sound and light and these modalities that, that use it. And what is the, you know, the risk benefit ratio, right? Mm -hmm. Very, very favorable. Mm -hmm. What is the risk here of smelling an essential oil? Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, it, it's just, it needs to be implemented in a way that um, providers are, are really, you know, kind of compensated fairly for, for right. knowing these things. And we need a system and a, a shift in our system to, to do that. And hopefully we're all part of that movement yeah. now. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah. I definitely think we are for sure. <laughs> uh, and and, and when, when we talk about light therapy and energy th healing and, and the way that you're putting it with biofields, I think about like Einstein and Tesla, right? This is exactly the stuff that they were talking about. Totally. Royal Rife, do you know him? Yeah, totally. Yeah, working with the Rife machine that was yeah. based in energy and, yeah. and sound yeah. and frequency. frequency. Yeah, And they took it away. The FDA literally took it away. They burned his papers in, in his office. And I was like, why did they do that? You know, he wasn't hurting anyone. Mm -hmm. He was actually, on the contrary, reversing diseases of his time. And I was like, and it was energy healing. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why they did it. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly why they did it. I, I, I don't want to say it, but uh, someone had to. Right? <laughs> exactly why they did it. So... I, if that's back in, I believe, the 50s, uh, I can imagine how much resistance there is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you find, both of you, any resistance from colleagues or from work saying, hey, why aren't you prescribing meds like we taught you? We well, left that world behind. <laughs> you left the world behind a yeah. long time ago. Okay. I mean... Well, not, uh, even just, just a year and a half ago, but yeah. we're kind of ostracized. I mean, you can tell your story about vaccinations and that difficulty. Yeah, I mean, we won't go down that hole, but... <laughs> it's a rabbit hole. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but, I mean, everyone should be educated, you know, whether you want a vaccine or not. Like, that's your choice, but you need to be, you need to be taught the risks and the benefits. And at my office, uh, they told me that I shouldn't tell anyone that there's any risks involved. 
Oh, I see. Other providers. Mm -hmm. And soon after that, I left my job. Yeah. <laughs> and where were you? Working? Not where, uh, but like, what were you doing? I was a primary care provider in the Bay Area, actually. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And, and, and it's just, that's the informed consent, right? It, it's yep. so egregious for me to say this and only this, and this is the way that we yep. have to do it. How disempowering it is to society and the growth right, of humanity if we can't question. That's yeah. science, right, to question. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, so you've been ostracized. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, the conventional system and us um, aren't seeing the eye to eye in many ways, but that's okay, uh, you know, because there's a lot of us now. This is, this is a growing movement, and it wasn't, we were talking after talking about, to you, and we were just like, wow, it was so easy to tell him this stuff. It's like he just got it, mm -hmm. you know, and you're coming from a, a major science background yeah. and, and a lot of sort of knowledge behind all health and wellness, yeah. and it was just very easy for you to get this because it's something very core to us that we intuitively understand some of these principles because you've had those experiences and you reflected back, and even while we were talking, you reflected back multiple times of how you've had experience mm -hmm. of, of, of interacting with this energetic self mm -hmm. and how it changed things for yeah, you in yeah. rapid ways. So I, you know, I think we can just focus on who, who wants to be a part of these movements now and, and sort of start to build this community from, from the, this ground up mm -hmm. and, and, and come together and start to disseminate this information. And, you know, the Royal Rifes of the world and, and all these people who kind of were the pioneers, um, their, their work won't go in vain. No, absolutely. And for me, there's always something to be something to be said about like people inherently know truth, mm -hmm. even if it's covered in all of these stories and teachings and narratives and news media and social media. Uh, when you say something, it, it can penetrate all that and hit them in the heart, mm -hmm. whether it sometimes it's really sub subtle. And when it comes to healing, not just spiritual truths or why we're here, or who we are, when it comes to healing, I find the same thing. Right. If you're able to speak in your confidence about this, this is a truth. Listen, yeah. when you want to heal, here's where you start. Look here. People are like, oh, this is too simple to be true. It's too grand to be true. But I feel like I want to listen more. I, I'm challenging the viewers and listeners. Lean into conversations like this because if you feel it in your heart, it might be true for you. Mm -hmm. Probably is true for you, <laughs> right? So that's why I have such a optimistic view of people in this space, because as long as we keep an integrity of truth and energy and fascia and healing and the self-healing mechanism, there's there's only up to go. Yeah. Right. We'll find resistances, but shoot, I feel fired up, man. Yeah. Like doing, I'm leading a protest in Washington right now. <laughs> <laughs> that but was not good for your liver. Remember we talked about right, that. Right, right, right. <laughs> and, to, and to the viewers and listeners, I have I have this fiery anger in my liver, apparently, <laughs> that, that I need to like... And your hip, your and right my hip. hip. And my right hip, yeah, yep, exactly. Yep, so, yep. Uh, which which was interesting because I, we talked about right hip issues, me and my trainer. So yeah. that's when I was like, how did you know this? <laughs> what is this stuff? Amazing. So... I know you both have uh, uh, so a lot of information on the website. How do people uh, find you, first of all? And, wh and what are you offering? Do you have some courses or lectures? How can people get involved in this understanding? Yeah, um, we do have a website. It's just satyahealth.com or on social media, same Satya Health. And right now we're doing biofield only visits, uh, but we also, our other part of our practices, we do genetics to kind of do the inside out approach and healing. Um, so yeah, if we, we like to support people wherever they are in their healing journey. Um, some people just want the energetic level. Some people still want to sprinkle in the supplements and the diets and yeah. we kind of support them there. Um, so they can, they can reach us pretty easily through those media. And I love channels. that you mentioned yeah. courses because, um, yeah. we, we honestly, we're passionate about educating yes. yeah. and, and that's really actually our, we don't think of ourselves as anything but educators. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. And so, you know, Developing courses is actually what we're working on right now. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, getting this information out and these multi-dimensional healing modalities yeah. of thinking of yourself energetically, working on that, but also physically and chemically and ha the different ways that we can do that. When you put all of those together and you empower a person to put all of those together, you know, you can heal yourself. Yeah. 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 The, all the, the basis is there. And the information, I'm sure people are going to soak it up because, as I mentioned, I have such an educated audience 
that is tired. They're just tired of going to the doctor and saying, here, take this and go home. And then they're tired of all of a sudden functional naturopathic medicine, not every practitioner, but many going here, take these 10 supplements, go yeah. home mm -hmm. and call it a day. Yeah. We intuitively are growing and feeling, especially consciousness shifting in the yes. past few years, where this is, the, this is the conversations that need to be had. Mm -hmm. So everyone go to satyahealth.com. Yeah. <laughs> and the Instagram was? Satya Health, yeah. Satya Health. So easy, S-A-T-Y-A. Yeah. And uh, the course, when can we expect it? And that actually... That'll be actually in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah. Perfect so by the time time. this is out, people are going to be just <laughs> log on and go and learn some more. And just to let you know, Satya actually in Sanskrit means truth. Truth. Yeah. True health. Yeah. True health. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Is there anything that you, uh, anything else you wanted to drop? Anything else you wanted to say about anything before we sign off? I think we're good. I, honestly, um, we appreciate you. We, mm -hmm. we, we just want to let yeah. you know because I think um, this is this is a huge ripple that you are putting in this ocean, mm -hmm. you know? And um, we just want to ride this wave with you, you know? It's, yeah. it's time for all of us to sort of do this together. Hell yeah, for man. Sure. We'll, we'll yeah. team up, man. The tidal wave is coming. Yes. Just wait. The little ripples are just the, the baby ones. Yes. I'm ready to do a cannonball. Landing. <laughs> I think I also want to say that um, a lot of people feel... Un, they're not heard or, you know, their symptoms go unchecked or they, they're just lost and they're going to heal. Like, they're going to heal. Like, they're already on their journey. Mm -hmm. You know, even everything they've gone through, like all the bad doctor visits, all the things that, you know, the doctors tell them, all the side effects of medications, like that took them to exactly where they needed to go to learn from their experience. Mm -hmm. And that uh, healing is multimodal, you know? Like, you can't just expect one doctor to give you all the answers. It's mm -hmm. like it's like a puzzle, right? There's different, like, pieces that you just have to kind of put together. Mm -hmm. So just, just keep going, keep reaching out to people, com community love, like, having support. That's one of the biggest things I think we're lacking. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, we fully believe in everyone's potential to heal. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> what a way to sign off. Sunny and Shai, Satya Health. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you.